Since we now have an official car list for all of the vehicles that are going to be in Forza Horizon 5 from day one on ForzaMotorsport.net, I figured why not make a visual confirmation of all of these vehicles so that you can check in, including when they update this list, which they are going to do multiple times as we get nearer to the game's release, to see what cars are gone, what new faces are here, and which ones are returning. So, as I said, stick around on the channel and be sure to check out the updates to this list, which are going to be coming out but for now let's get straight into the confirmed list the acura integra type r rsx type s and 2017 nsx then moving from the renault dealership to the alpine dealership it would appear we have the 73 alpine a110 as well as the 2017 a110 from a lumicraft we have the class 10 race car from amc the gremlin x amg transport dynamics halo warthog from Apollo, we have the Intensa Emozione. From Ariel, we have the Atom 500 and the Nomad. Then from Aston Martin, we've got the DB5, the V12 Vantage S, the Vantage GT12, the DB11, the 2019 Vantage. Interestingly, that could be a typo, but as far as I could see, we have the 2018 Vantage. So if that's not a typo, that's technically, technically a slight difference. We have the 2019 DBS Superleggera and the Vulcan AMR Pro. Then moving into Audi, we have the 2006 RS4, the 2003 RS6, the 2009 RS6, the RS5, the 2013 RS4 Wagon, the RS7, the 2013 Shape R8 V10 Plus, the 2001 RS4 Avant by Turbo, the 2015 RS6 Avant, the TT RS Coupe, the 2016 shape R8 V10 Plus, the short wheelbase Sport Quattro, the TTS Coupe, the RS2, and the S1. Then from Austin Healey, we have the Mark I Sprite. From Auto Union, the Type D. From BAC, the Mono. From Buick, we have the Regal GNX and the GSX. From Cadillac, we have the ATSV and the CTSV, 2016 shape in particular. From Can Am, we have the Maverick RS Turbo R. From Catrum, the Superlight R500. Then moving into Chevy, as usual, there's quite a few. We've got the 69 Camaro SS, the 70 Chevelle 454, the 67 Corvette Stingray, the 2002 Corvette Z06 the 1970 Corvette ZR1, the 79 Camaro Z28, the 2009 Corvette ZR1, a fan favourite, the 70 Shape El Camino 454, the 64 Impala, the 70 Camaro Z28, the 96 Impala SS, the 69 Nova Supersport, the 57 Bel Air, the 53 Corvette, the 88 Monte Carlo, the 95 Corvette ZR1, the 2015 Corvette Z06, 2015 Camaro Z28, the 1955 Chevy 150 Utility Sedan, the 2017 Camaro ZL1, the Colorado ZR2, the 2019 Corvette ZR1, the 2018 Camaro ZL1 1LE Edition, the 2020 Corvette Stingray, with, as we've seen from the promotional footage, some additional visual upgrades. From Datsun, we have the 510, from Deberti Design, which possibly has its own dealership this time, we have the Chevy Silverado, the Ford F-150, and the Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Then from Dodge, we have, unsurprisingly, the 69 Charger, the 70 Challenger, the 2008 Viper ACR, the 69 Daytona Charger, the 2015 Challenger Hellcat, 2015 Charger Hellcat, the 2016 Viper ACR, the Durango SRT, and the Challenger SRT Demon. From Exo Motive, we have the Exo Set, and then from Ferrari, again like Chevy, quite a few, the F355, the 360 Challenge Stradale, the Dino, the Enzo, the F40, the F50, the 288 GTO, the FXX, the F50 GT, the 430 Scuderia, the 458 Italia, the 250 Testarossa, the 250 California, the 365 GTB4, the 599 XX Evo, which will doubtless still be the fastest car in the game, the LaFerrari, the 458 Speciale, the FXXK, the 488 GTB, the F12 TDF, 
the 330 P4, the 812 Superfast, the GTC4 Lusso, the Portofino, the 488 Pista, the Lotus Cortina, now moving into the Ford dealership, technically, the M Sport Fiesta RS, the number 5 Escort RS 1800 Mark II, the 2005 Ford GT, the year 2000 SVT Cobra Mustang, the 93 SVT Cobra Mustang, the Mark II Focus RS, the RS200 Evo, the 92 Whaletail Escort Cosworth, likewise the 87 Whaletail Sierra RS500, the 77 Escort RS, the 65 Mustang GT, the 2011 Shape F150 Raptor, the Transit Super Sport Van, the Capri RS3100, the 1940 Deluxe Coupe, the 1973 Escort RS, the Ford F100, the 2013 Shape Shelby GT500, the 1969 Boss 302 Mustang, the Fiesta ST, the 2003 Shape Focus RS, the Mark I, the T6 Ranger Rally Raid, the 1981 Fiesta XR2, the 75 Bronco, the 2017 Shape Focus RS, and the 2017 Shape GT, the 32 Deluxe 5 Window Coupe, the 2017 Shape F150 Raptor, the 2016 Shelby GT350R, the Rockstar F150 Trophy Truck, the FPV Limited Edition Pursuit Ute, the Falcon GT, the 72 Falcon GTHO, the 68 Mustang 2 Plus 2 Fastback, the Crown Vic Police Interceptor, the Raoul Letterman Lanigan Racing GRC Fiesta No. 14, <laughs> the 59 Anglia, the 64 GT40 Mark I, the 86 Escort RS, the 2018 Shape RTR Mustang, that's the number 25 car, the more street-spec RTR Mustang from 2018 as well, the 65 Transit, the Ultra 4 Bronco RTR, codenamed Brocky, the number 25, that is a new vehicle to the game, the 2018 shape number 88 Ford Mustang RTR, the GT70, the Supervan 3, the 2019 shape Ranger Raptor, the 67 Racing Escort Mark 1, I, I believe if I recall correctly that's a new one, the Ford Racing Puma, the 2020 shape GT500 Mustang, the Ford Performance Bronco, that is of course a new vehicle, one of the heavily featured ones. The 2020 Ford F450 Super Duty Platinum, very cool looking truck and that is a new one to the game. Again, the 2021 Ford Bronco, that's a new one of course. Then moving into Formula Drift, we have the number 13 Mustang, the number 530 HSV Maloo, the number 43 Viper, the 777 Corvette, the number 117 Ferrari 599, the 777 240SX, the number 64 370Z. Moving into Funko Motorsports, we have the F9. Then from GMC, we only have the Vandura for now. Then from Hennessy, we have the Venom GT and the 6x6 Velociraptor. From Holden, we have the Tirana, the 73 Monaro and the Sandman. Moving into Honda then, we have two S2000s, the 2003 and the 2009 S2000 CR. We have the 2004 shape Civic, the CRX, the 2005 NSXR, the 1992 NSXR, the NSXR GT, the 2007 Civic Type R, the 97 EK Civic Type R, the 74 Civic RS, the 94 Prelude SI, the 2015 Civic Type R, the 2018 Civic Type R, and the Civic GRC. Then moving into Hoonigan, we have the Hoonigan Bel Air, the Napalm Nova, the Escort, the Hoonicorn Mustang, the RWB 911, the Gymkhana F-150, the Gymkhana Escort Cosworth, the Gymkhana Hoonicorn Mustang, and the Gymkhana Focus RS. We have the Gymkhana RS200 and the Escort WRC, codenamed Cosi V2. I believe that one is a new vehicle to the game as well. Then we have Hot Wheels, the returning Bone Shaker and Twin Mill, and what appears to be another new vehicle, the Monster Trucks Bone Shaker. So I'm assuming that's a new car as well. From HSV, we have the Gen F GTS from 2014 and the Malou version as well. From Hummer, we have the H1 Alpha, not the pickup version. From Hyundai, we once again have the Veloster N. From Infinity, the Q60. 
the International Scout. Then moving into Jaguar, we have the E-Type, the XJ220, the D-Type, the 2012 XKRS, the F-Type R Coupe, the XFRS, the F-Type Project 7, the Mark II, the XES, the F-Pace S, the lightweight E-Type, the electric I-Pace, and of course one of the most significant new cars to the game, the XJR15. Then moving into Jeep, we have the Wrangler Rubicon, the Grand Cherokee SRT, the CJ5, the Trailcat, the Cherokee Trackhawk, and the Gladiator Rubicon. Moving into Koenigsegg, we have the CC8S, the CCGT, the 1 to 1, the Regera, the Agera RS, and the Yesco. From KTM, we have the Crossbow R. From Lamborghini, then, we have the Countach, the Diablo GTR, the Diablo SV, the Mura, the Reventon, the Mozzielago LP670 SV, the Gallardo Superleggera, the Sesto Elemento, the Aventador LP700, the Veneno, the Huracan, the LM002, the Aventador Superveloce, the Centenario LP770, the Urus, the Huracan Performante. Then moving into Land Rover, we have the Defender, the Range Rover SVR, the 72 Land Rover Series 3, the 73 Range Rover, and the Velar, as well as the brand new Defender 110X, which is a debut to the game. With Lexus, we have the returning LFA and the RCF. Interestingly, no ISF for now, but we do have the new SC300. Not new to the Forza franchise, but this one is not in Horizon 4. We have the Local Motors Rally Fighter, the Lola T70. Then for Lotus, we have the Elan, the Elise 190, the 311, the Elise GT1, and the Exige S. From Maserati, the Gran Turismo S, the Levante S, and the MC12 Corsa. Moving into McLaren, we have the F1 GT Longtail, the F1, the P1, the 650S, the 570S, the 720S, the Senna, the 600 Longtail, the 720S Spider, and the Speedtail. Then moving into Mercedes AMG, first of all, we have the C63S, the GTR, the four-door GTR, and the E63S, and of course, the brand new AMG Project 1. Moving into Mercedes-Benz rather than AMG, we have the SLK, the 300 SL Gullwing, the CLK GTR road car, the SLS AMG, the 190E Evo 2, the C63 Black Series, the G65, A45, E63, W154, the Tank Pool Racing Truck, the Unimog, the SSK, the X-Class, the 6x6 G-Wagon, the Hammer Coupe, and then moving into Myers, we have the 71 Myers Manx. From MG, we have the 6R4 Metro. Then from Mitsubishi, we have the Eclipse, the GTO, the Evo 9, the Evo 6, the Evo 8, the Evo 10, and the Starion. From Morgan, we have the three-wheeler. From Morris, we have the 53 Minor 1000, the Mosler MT900, the Napier Railton from 1933. Then moving into Nissan, we have the 370Z, the 69 Fair Lady Z432, 350Z, the Fair Lady Z from, from uh, 1994. Actually, no, I should say that's a 300ZX, not a 350Z. We have the 92 Sylvia, the 94 Sylvia, the 2000 S15 Sylvia, the Skyline GTR R32 from 1993, the R390 road car, the 71 Skyline, R33 Skyline, the 240SX, the 2012 shape GTR Black Edition, the 73 Skyline, the 87 R31 Skyline, the 2017 facelifted GTR, the 98 Sylvia, the Titan Warrior Concept, the R33 GTR LM Road version, a 2004 Rally Raid pickup, which, if I recall correctly, is a new one to the series, the Pulsar GTIR. Then from Opel, we have the Manta 400. From Pagani, we have the Zonda R, the Zonda Cinque, the Huayra BC. Then from Penel, we have the Chola. From Peugeot, the 207 Super 2000, the 205 Turbo 16, and the 205 Rally. From Plymouth, the 71 Cuda 426. 
From Polaris, we have the RZR. From Pontiac, the 87 Trans Am, the 77 Trans Am, the 65 GTO. Then moving into Porsche, there are quite a few of those. The 917 Longtail from 1970, the 95 shape 911 GT2, 2004 shape 911 GT3, the 911 Turbo 3.3, the 914, the 944 Turbo, the 959, the Carrera GT, the 911 GT1 road car, the 2012 shape GT2 RS, the 2014 911 Turbo S, the 918 Spider, the 718 shape Cayman GTS from 2018, the 2016 GT3 RS, the 2016 Cayman GT4, the 968 Turbo S, the 2019 shape 911 Carrera, the Panamera Turbo, the 2016 shape GT2 RS, the KN Turbo, the ProDrive Rally Raid 959, the Porsche 356 from 1959, the 2019 shape GT3 RS, the Macan Turbo, the 2015 shape Cayman GTS, another new vehicle, the Macan Rally Raid, the 89 911 Desert Flyer, that's another new one to the game, and another new Porsche, probably the one I'm most excited for, the Taycan Turbo S, the fully electric Porsche. Then from Radical, we have the RXC, the Ram 2500 Power Wagon, the Reliance Supervan 3, the Renault 5 Turbo, Renault Clio RS200, the Clio Williams, the Megan R26R, and the Megan RS from 2018. Remac makes a return with the Concept 2. Interesting, they still haven't given that car its new name within the game. From RJ Anderson, we have the Rockstar Energy Pro 2 truck. From Celine, interestingly, there's no S5S Raptor, but what we do have so far is the S7 and the S1. From Sierra Cars, we have the RX3, that's a new one to the game. The SRT Viper from 2013, which is a strange choice to put that in its own dealership rather than Dodge. Not exactly sure why they chose to do that. From Subaru, we have the Impreza 22B, the 2004 WRX, 2005 WRX, 2008 WRX, 2011 WRX, the BRZ, and the 2015 WRX. Then moving into Toyota, we have the 2000 GT, the A86 Sprinter Truno, the 2-litre Supra GT, the Supra RZ, the ST205 Celica, the supercharged MR2, the ST185 Celica, the 74 Celica, the Toyota 86, another new vehicle, the Toyota FJ40 from 79, and another new vehicle again, the 2020 shape GR Supra. From TVR, we have the Speed 12, the Sagaris, and the new shape Griffith. From Ultima, the Evolution 1020 Coupe. From Vauxhall, the Monaro and Corsa VXRs. From Volkswagen, we have the Corrado, the Mark II Golf GTI, the Mark IV Golf R32, the Scirocco S from 1981, the Golf Mark III VR6, the Scirocco R from 2011, the Golf R from 2014, the 63 Type II Deluxe, the Desert Dingo Rally Bug, the Class V Baja Bug, the 83 Golf GTI, the Rallycross Andretti number 34 Beetle from 2017, and the 2010 Golf R. From Vool, we have the 05 RR or 05 RR. From Willys, we have once again the 1945 Jeep. And finally, for now at least, we have the Zenvo TSRS with the active centripetal wing. So overall, that is it for the full confirmed list so far. A fairly long list. <laughs> And of course, as I said, stick around on the channel in future to see updates to this list, which I will be putting out. And I suspect they're probably going to announce quite a lot of cars each time they do so. I'm not sure exactly how frequently these updates are coming, but doubtless they'll get more frequent as we get closer to the game's release. So as I said, stick around on the channel for more. Tell me what you think of the list so far, any that you're really happy with, some of the newer faces. Not too many new cars in here either so far, but those that are new are fairly significant at least but until next time i'll see you then and for now as always thanks for watching